Muffler, Seven Days to Die with <laughs> Silver Blade. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Son of a. Ouch. You must remember to work. Uh... 88 miles power! So you feel foolish. <laughs> Greetings, minions, galactic survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Empyreon Galactic Survival. Pretty. <laughs> and this is episode number 31. Everything was pretty dang quiet there for a second. I had to wonder if my sound was actually working. Right now, I am currently... In space, the final frontier, <laughs> and uh, I was gonna go back down to the planet and uh, repair the Terra Lumina, but I'm thinking if I can walk straight, <laughs> I'm gonna go back and try to take on that one defense station if I could find it again. It's out here somewhere. And I'm gonna try to take it on with the stiletto or something. Oh, I gotta find it again. That's the tricky part. Let's see. I'm trying to find it on radar here. And I let's see, is that it? That may be it. Or that's the trade station, I think. Yeah, it's a trading station. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. And that's probably it right there. Or is that another plant? See, that's the, the thing that kind of gets me is the distance kind of fools the eye. Just kind of swim around here and see where it is, because it's been a week since I last recorded an episode, and uh, you know I play other games throughout the week, and it's quite easy to get a little discombobulated. So I'm just kind of flying around in circles, trying to spot out something. Seeing Jack Diddley or Diddley Squat. Now I really can't wait for Alpha Six to drop because that will mean a whole new game to get used to. Because I've seen snippets of other people's videos. I think that's the station up ahead or the trade station. Shit. Back to where I found, uh, started from. But I've seen snippets of other people's videos. I have a very faint clue as to uh, what to expect. But I have pretty much divorced myself from getting really into what's supposed to come out. Because I kind of want to leave something as a surprise for myself. <coughs> Excuse me. So I need to find that station to attack with my smaller ship. So right there's a trade station. There's the moon. I keep thinking that thing right up there might be it, but it's so far beyond the asteroid belt that it's looking more and more like one of the planets. Ah, come on, where is ya? I'm thinking I'm way too high up here. Well, if 
Flawless fails. And it looks like it has. We'll just land and get repairs. Because I think right there is our lake. And right there should be my base. Should be. Not got wood. We can always come back up here and hunt it down. like that is indeed my base. So, you know, eagle eye! <laughs> so now it's a matter of landing and getting the, uh, the feet on the repair bay thing. there. So the foot should cover up the blue light there on the right. Power off. Yep, it's repairing. It's a health of 99. Now this should be updating in real time, but unfortunately it does not. Let's see. We re-enter it. Yeah, it's back at 100. Okay. So we'll get out of the pilot seat. Take the helmet off. And let's see how much power we got left up in here. Ooh, that took up a lot of fusion cells. We've got plenty there. Let's see what we got in here. A bunch of Prometheum. That should still be processing, but is not. But that's because the ship is off. Derp. And it's getting a little bit sticky, but we can manage, I think. Alright, so let's go and see what we got here. I've kind of forgotten. Okay, we got ammo. Uh, let's go get... Let's go get some uh, hydrogen. And stock up on what has been made since last week, which really... Uh, there should be some quantity there, because we spent a good deal of time in space, but... Eh, it's not bad. 35. Times 10 hydrogen generators. That's a fairly sizable amount. And then we got some oxygen. And voila. So we need to haul this back and then uh, make some fusion cells. I think we'll make those on, on the Terra Lumina itself. Now let's see what other stuff we got in here. Uh, let's do that. Irony gets for days. Alright, we got 15 mils and 30 mils. Ah, uh, that's not the box. That's not the box. Still not the box. That's the box. Alright, 30 mils. Um, I think we should be fine because we haven't had any drone attacks that I know of. go in here and then well, we 
we gotta replace. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I left it open. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's go back down below. in there and we can just go crazy like that and let's see we need lots in an O2 I think we're good on the O2 <laughs> water we'll put that in here and then the spare ammo for the stiletto. Uh, let's see. That. Uh, we'll put it, put it up in here. Actually, put the spare ammo in here. Uh, let's see. We got that's filled. And we have 49 in reserve. Uh, let's see. Turned around there. Let's see what our resources are looking like in here. I'm thinking we're out of magnesium, and in fact, we kind of are. <coughs> so we'll probably have to do some resource mining for magnesium, but I don't want to do that right now. So with all that taken care of, let's see, we got food, we got oxygen, so we're good for now. The ship is repaired. Oops, let's uh, put the helmet back on. We're going to go back up into space. And hopefully we can find that station. If not, I'd like to find the freighter and take that on. Because I, I, I do want to find Thermica Station, though. Find it again, rather. And maybe we can take out its, its turrets and loot it. Which would be ideal. But at least now we have a fully repaired CV. We'll have to hunt around. I wish I had uh, did a better review of last week's video so I can kind of get a mental landmark for where that station is. And I wish it stood out a little better against the vastness of space. So maybe if I come out near the asteroid belt a little bit start looking around hmm. so right now we're also kind of giving the game some time to uh, process all of that Prometheum that we mined last week and uh, hopefully hopefully anyway, um, make some more fuel cells, fusion cells, or whatever those big energy cells are. Don't you just love when I get technical? <laughs> Alright, so now we're just going forward and just kind of scanning around to see where it could be and I'm sure you guys have already seen it like two or three times by now and are like no silver no you missed it it's over there it's over there and I'll be like well you should have told me that while I was recording the episode which of course you can't kind of do so you know 
exercise in futility. <laughs> Come on, Thermica, wherefore art thou? Or in modern parlance, where the hell are you? <laughs> I want to shoot you a lot. Now I could have swore it was within the rings of the asteroid belt. That much I'm relatively sure of. Is that it? Yes, that is indeed it. So let's get in a little closer, but not close enough that we can get shot at. Okay, we'll back off a little bit from here. All right. Now let's get into the stiletto. Make sure that's armed and ready. Alright, so we got full complement well, almost a full complement of rockets and full belts of ammo. That's loaded up. Eh, that's good enough. That's good. Check for oxygen. That's not oxygen. That's a lot of spoiled food. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> and we'll dunk that and we will eat that for a goodness. Have to do something about that in the near future here. And uh, we're down two bottles. Let's uh, make sure we have enough O2. There we go. All right, let's go kill some fools. Switching to rockets. Kind of zooming in a little bit. Now we've got to figure out where those turrets are. I think it's on the underside. Yep, there they are. What's up top, if there are up top, aren't firing? That doesn't mean the. Uh, don't wanna. Got your nose. <laughs> All right, let's turn this beast around and let's see if we can access the base without losing any uh, nose hairs. Stay up on top of it, we should be alright. Famous last words. Alright, there's. Is that the hangar? Maybe not. There's gotta be a docking area. Peeking around for guns, and they're peeking around for me. Crap, I'm getting beaten up. That's no good. Alright, let's go for another pass. Um, I just lost it. I was going towards the wrong marker on the screen. Alright, let's see. 98%, so we're not too terribly bad. Don't look like we've lost anything. Right, let's go back at it. I think 
I got that one. That was a lucky shot, too, I gotta say. And let's see, is he underneath there? <laughs> it's not a cargo bay I'm hitting because that would make me very very cross what is blowing up in there probably stuff I don't want blowing up that's probably what it is all right let's let's do this Bad time to need to reload. Crap. Whoa, baby. Okay, we got that one. Probably at a too high a cost, I'm thinking. two direct hits on him or on it oh, got those dinky little turrets doing their number on me okay it looks like this side's open oh I thought it was open it, it's so deceptive little BSD <laughs> All right, you little pipsqueak, where you at? I know you up in there. All right, that would be you. You're not hitting me no more. Okay, so... Oh, let's switch to guns. And I'm thinking that I was upside down the whole dang time. Isn't that a hoot? Alright, let's uh, park it here. Let's do a damage assessment 97%. Guns have taken some damage. Rocket launchers have taken damage. Uh, let's see, fuel tanks look like they're okay. RCSs look okay. I think it's just superficial damage at this point. Let's go rob some fools. Alright. Make sure we're, we're loaded for bear here. And watching out for those oh so pesky hidden turrets. And the ones that aren't so hidden, like that one that just noticed me. You SOB. Crap. Alright, well, luckily there's a healing station back here, but help it'll heal me. Well, I guess it will. Sweet. <coughs> this is getting nauseatingly exciting. <laughs> Alright, heal me up before I go-go. There's no O2 in the tanks. Well, there. Got your nose. Wrong. Alright, we need to end this. Let's get my suit light on. Ha! Excellent. Nice. 
I guess uh, these must have been exploded from the outside when I hit it with the rockets. So nice that it was considerate enough. Or maybe I hit him with the rockets from me shooting directly at those turrets. Either way, it was considerate enough to leave stuff behind for me to loot. Ooh, that's that's going to be useful. Got these already? Yeah. Alright. So let's clear this other side. What have we got here? Repositories. Yeah, at least they're repositories, not suppositories. Yay, more shotgun shells. Yay, more healing. Alright. So now we can venture in a little bit more. And it opens from one side. Or does it? That'll teach you to block my path. Alright, we'll start with the lower deck first. Because this, I think, is like a cargo hold type situation. Right there is the core. I don't want to do anything to that just yet. No goodness in the fuel tank. <sighs> okay, so now we know where the core is. Now it's just a matter of getting to the upper level. Alright, so that's where we were. Right, let's just creep our way up here. Yeesh! little chunk of a restroom there. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so now I gotta head back to my ship and dump everything off. Which isn't so bad, except that I went too far down. Oh, uh, where is that deck? That's not that deck. There we are. Small vessel. Excellent. Alright, let's heal up while we still got it. This is why I didn't want the core taken out yet, because it's nice to have these instead of have to rely on the health packs. Alright. So let's get the cargo thing going. Nope, you stay with me. Hey, Capper ingots. Okay, I thought it was Escosium for a moment there. Got a little, almost a little overexcited. And I suppose I could leave that behind. turn at Albuquerque. Okay. There we go. That's just deco. Alright, got some taxi crystals. Sweet. That'll go a long way. Well, not really a long way, but it'll take me a little ways. <laughs> Probably should have brought the Terra Luma. Oh shit, you. Oh crap. <laughs> That's just poor humor. 
<laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> there we go. Couple more crystals. I will have to explore these outside areas here in just a moment. And I reloaded too soon. There. I wish some of these places would respawn stuff. Alright, we're gonna get a lot of food goods here, aren't we? Alright, we'll leave that for the moment. Can't use those. Man, lots of food stuffs. take these now and see how much we can handle before we have to start praying it all stacks and that's about it right there I think ooh I got everything but we definitely need to get back to the ship to dump this all off and there we go so these will go in the refrigerator with the stuff that I forgot about. <laughs> That's one of the curses. Oops. Uh, well, I'll eat some space fries. And, uh... And we'll eat some bread, too. Why not? That's one of the curses about playing a game, do, like, th five episodes, which really, you know, five episodes, at half hour piece, you know, that ends up being two and a half hours. However... I do more than two and a half hours playing the game at the time I'm uh, around the time that I'm recording. Crack. Get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Son of a bizatch. As I was saying, I do, it takes me two and a half hours. Of, uh, there's two and a half hours of recording time, but I'm usually in the game for five to eight hours. Um. Okay, this was unfortunate. <laughs> oh, where am I? Alright, we're gonna go get the Terra Lumina and bring that in. And we're also at the end of the episode, so, uh, yeah. What I'll do is I'll go and I'll get the Terra Lumina and haul over the Thermica and all that and, uh, start the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um,. You know, like I said, two and a half hours of, of recordings, but way many more hours outside of that, you know, between episodes and after episodes and before episodes and that kind of stuff. And that's even before I even edit and render and crap like that. But uh, lots of work goes into these videos, not just by me, but by other YouTubers as well, which is why uh, in the description box below I have links to other YouTubers, friends of mine, people I know, people that I believe have good quality content that you may enjoy so definitely check them out as well as follow me on Twitter and uh, and there's even a Patreon um, I post up videos on Patreon and Twitter every day so if you can't catch it on YouTube for some reason um, you can follow me on that so thank you guys for watching and until next time see you later Twitch Twitch Oh, this is going to be a long flight. <laughs>